Hi everyone, and welcome back to your Real Pro Tips. Today we're talking about financing deadline, what it is and how you can use it. So you may have heard about a financing deadline and you may ask yourself like, what does that actually mean? So in the state of New Hampshire, your financing deadline is articulated and clearly stated on the purchase and sales agreement. And it is essentially for the buyer, the last get out of jail free card. So what this means is this is kind of the last opportunity for a buyer to legally get out of the contract and not move forward with the purchase of the home. There are a couple caveats to this. The financing deadline is usually a week to two weeks prior to the closing date. And it is a firm deadline unless you get an extension. And it is kind of like a reverse. So instead of a deadline to do something, it's like your deadline to not do something. So you as the agent or the buyer must notify the seller and the list agent of your inability to obtain financing prior to that financing deadline. So what that means is let's say you put in an offer for a home and you have a financing deadline that says that you're going to um, do a conventional loan at 20% down. You have to notify the listing agent or the seller of your inability to obtain that financing prior to that deadline. If you notify them prior to that deadline, so let's say something happens and you lose your job, and so therefore you no longer can obtain the loan from the lender under those terms. Or let's say you do something crazy and you buy a new car, and now your debt to income ratio is crazy and you no longer qualify for that financing. Or let's say that the appraisal comes in below um, the sale price and you don't have the cash to make up the difference and you haven't come to an agreement with the seller. So you no longer can get the financing for that property. These are all reasons why the buyer's agent would need to notify the listing agent that the buyer can no longer obtain financing and they need to do it before that financing deadline. If you properly notify prior to that financing deadline, then the contract um, can be dissolved and the buyer would re retain the escrow deposit. So they would get that money back and kind of move out of the transaction. If any of those situations I mentioned occur after the financing deadline has passed, then in that situation, the buyer has not met their obligations of the contract and the escrow deposit would remain with the seller. Obviously, you can't force somebody to purchase a home that they don't have the money to purchase. So the contract be kind of falls apart, but the seller then gets to retain whatever that escrow deposit amount was as kind of compensation for not being able to move forward. They then can put the property back on the market um, and kind of start over with a new buyer. So that is your financing deadline. And that is a really, really important date for both buyer and seller. It's also when the seller can feel comfortable that the contract is moving forward and begin packing and moving and, and all of that fun stuff. So uh, having an agent that can really articulate these things to you and keep track of those dates and take really good care of you and your money is the most important thing. So just keep dreaming big. Give me a call. Let me help you out. I will get you into that dream home. Love y'all.